and here to, I guess it's not the 2020, but the 2021 NFL Weekly Prediction Series. Last episode, we did Week 17, so today we'll be getting the playoffs with the Wild Card Round. But before we do that, let's look at Week 17. A lot happened this week. For the AFC, I got most of these correct. The only one I got incorrect was the Raiders. Um, they beat the Broncos. So basically, the playoffs, the Ravens made it. That was a nice win for them. The Dolphins lost big, meaning they will miss it. The Browns won, meaning that they will make the playoffs. I'm excited for them. First time, I believe, since 2002. So congrats, Browns fans. Uh, Colts won as well. So yeah. And then for the NFC, Packers won. They're the number one seed there. Buccaneers won. Washington wins the NFC East in a very controversially filled game. The Giants won, as did the Rams. So besides that, I got pretty much the rest of my picks right. I went 13-3 and three this week, um, meaning that with the win over the Cardinals, that the Cardinals are out of the postseason so this is the last time we'll be seeing a lot of these teams on this series. The Cardinals, Niners, Lions, Vikings, and a lot of these teams are not making the postseason. But let's see who actually is making the playoffs. I do want to say that all of the football games during the regular season were played. Some of them were moved to a different day, but all of them were played. So I just want to say congrats to the NFL on that. But we go to the playoffs. Let's begin with the AFC, with the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Tennessee Titans. As a Ravens fan, scary game. Last year, uh, the Titans beat the Ravens. Um, so, you know, a bit nervous for this one. As for the matchup, this is a very exciting game. Probably one of my most excited of the weekend. You have Derrick Henry, who had 2,000 rushing yards. He hit in Week 17 against Lamar Jackson and that Ravens ground game. You also have the Titans wide receivers, A.J. Brown and Corey Davis against the Ravens corners, Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey. So just a lot of great matchups in this game. And that's what you want for the playoffs. For me, this is tough because I could see other team winning. Baltimore... They've looked really good on offense, and the Titans' defense has struggled. But then again, the Ravens have not had the best luck with Tennessee. Ultimately, I'm going with the Titans. A lot of people are picking the Ravens. I hope Lamar Jackson wins his first playoff game, but I think the Baltimore Ravens' season ends here. And here's why. Mike Vrabel is a fantastic coach for the Titans, and I just think he'll do a really great job in this game as head coach. He's beaten the Ravens twice so far, and I just think that the playoffs are about coaching, and the Titans have just had a really good um, luck with facing the Ravens. So I'm going with the Titans. Uh, next up, we have, there's two division games happening this week. One is this AFC North duel between the Browns and Steelers. Um, this is going to be a really great one. I could see either team winning it. Pittsburgh's defense has been really great, and I could see them shutting down Cleveland's offense. But Cleveland's offense have been has been really good, and the Steelers' offense has struggled. So I could see the Browns, you know, outscoring the Steelers. I think you have a fantastic Steelers defense against a really great Browns offense, and then you have a good Browns defense against a very inconsistent Steelers offense. So these two teams match up very well. I want to go with the Browns. Um, this is kind of my upset game for the AFC. I just think with the momentum that the Browns have, I think that that will help a lot. And the Steelers have been very up and down. Also, coaching is a big part. And I really like what Kevin Stefanski is doing with the Browns. I think he's a very smart head coach. And I think this will be a very close game in Pittsburgh, this AFC North battle. I think it will be very defensive. I could see a good amount of turnovers. But I'm going with the Browns as the upset. Next up, we have the Indianapolis Colts and the Buffalo Bills. I really love the playoffs this year. One of those reasons is for unique matchups. 
and unique teams. I feel like the Bills being the number two seed is awesome, something we haven't seen, I think, ever, and the Colts making it is great. This is such a unique playoff matchup. So, with that being said, this one's interesting because the Bills are on a hot streak, but the Colts have a stingy defense. However, I will be picking Buffalo. The reason why is I just think the coaching staff of Sean McDermott's great, and I think that their offense is playing very well. Yes, Indianapolis's defense is stingy. That is true, and they have played very well. They have a lot of great players on that team. Kenny Moore, Julian Blackman, Darius Leonard, DeForest Buckner, Xavier Rhodes. There's way more than that. But the one reason why I'm not picking the Colts to win is Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers is undoubtedly a first ballot Hall of Famer. But this season at times, the Colts offense has not been able to really have those big wins and big moments. They've had some good games as an offense, but I don't trust them in a game like this. I think that for me, if the Colts won, this would not be the most shocking thing. They're a very well-coached team with Frank Reich. Frank Reich coaching against his former team is an excellent storyline, and I'm excited for this game. I just think the Bills are a hot team with great coaching. They don't have the bye week. They have a big Week 17 win, and they're getting into this playoff game right away, and I think that's going to help them and get the win. I spent a lot of times on those games because I think they're the more interesting ones than the NFC. For this Tampa Bay-Washington game, I'm actually going with Washington. The reason why is about... I think it was week five. I said whoever wins the NFC East is going to win a playoff game. And I'm sticking by that. Now I know everything is telling me to go with the Buccaneers. Tom Brady and that offense with Mike Evans and Tony Brown and Chris Godwin are heating up. Their defense is great. But I'm going with the Washington football team. It was a very interesting prediction to make. And I'm sticking with it. I'm not backing off on it. I'm not betting money. I never but bet money on sports, but I said back a good amount of time ago that the NFC East winner will win a playoff game, and I'm going with that. Now, talking about this logistically, I could see it happening. Washington's defense is very good, and they're a very well-coached team with Ron Rivera, Jack Del Rio. This is a team that also got some nice wins against the Steelers, and you know, looking at their losses, there's only a couple blowouts. Washington played teams very close, and I think more recently they've gotten things together, as have the Buccaneers. If I think Washington wins, the only reason is if they really control Tampa Bay and force Tom Brady into mistakes, which has happened. Um, I feel like I'm the only person picking the Washington football team to win. If they do win, that will be fantastic. I'll be ecstatic, but probably going to be a Buccaneers win. Uh, so this is the second division game of the week in the NFC West. Or the, the second division game, this one in the NFC West, with the Rams and the Seahawks. The other one was Brown Steelers. So two division games here. Uh, I think this will be a very defensive game. You look at Los Angeles. They have Aaron Donald, Jaron Ramsey, and the rest of their defense have been really great. They have the stars, and also the other players have been stepping up. And the Seahawks defense has played very well. However, I'm going with a Seattle win. I just really trust Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll. I think I could see this game being close and Russell Wilson having a late game drive. Um, the Seahawks offense, they just look so much in chemistry. Russell Wilson to DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, they just seem very much in rhythm. Even though Seattle's past couple of games have been lower scoring, Russell Wilson is still playing good football. Los Angeles... They did a good job getting the Rams to the playoffs. Sean McVay is a great head coach, and I really have to applaud him. I just think the Seahawks will end up winning it at the very end. It wouldn't shock me if the Rams won, but I'm going with Seattle. Bears Saints. Um, out of all six games, this is probably the one I'm the most neutral on. Chicago, New Orleans. Uh, you know, Chicago's defense is good. I have just never been really someone who's believed this Mitchell Trubisky offensive hot streak. And the Packers game, we kind of saw that hot streak come to an end. I'm going with New Orleans. I don't know if Alvin Kamara is playing. Even if he is not, I'm still going with the Saints. I trust Drew Brees and Sean Payton. And I know that Drew Brees' arm has not really been the best this season. 
But the Saints had a big Week 17 win over the Panthers where they looked really good. And I just trust Sean Payton and the New Orleans Saints to really game plan around the Chicago Bears defense. So overall, those are my predictions. Um, since I'm not doing a fantasy recap because the leagues are done with and they're finished, um, I'll be doing my kind of score predictions, if you will. So I think that the Titans... Or the winner of this game will win about, let's say, 38-31. I'm going up there. Brown Steelers, I think this will be a very odd scoring game with some turnovers. I'll go 19-16. to Bills Colts, I'll put the Colts, oh, let's say 20, and I'll put the Bills at 34. So kind of a close game, but a bigger Bills win. I think Josh Allen and his uh, offense are going to really heat up in the second half. Um, and then I, I think the Buccaneers will probably win, but for this prediction, I have Washington winning. So I'll go with Washington. I'll say they win this game 17-7. If Tampa Bay wins, probably 24-9 Buccaneers. I think this game will end in a last-second Russell Wilson game-winning field goal drive. So I'll go 17-14 over the Rams. And then Bears-Saints, I'll say the Bears... Get to, I think the Bears Saints game is going to be very similar to the Colts Bills game in terms of kind of how they go with both the Saints and Bills heating up. So I'll give the Saints 31 points and I'll give the Bears 23. So, everyone, that are my predictions. I can really see all six of these games going either way. I could see, yeah, I think all of these will go any other way. And then this is what I have for my divisional round matchups. Um, I don't think these will all happen. I think there definitely will be upsets this week for sure. But I'll, if these happen, Browns, Chiefs, Titans, Bills, Washington, Green Bay, Seahawks, Saints. I really hope we see a Seahawks, Saints matchup in real life. Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, I think that will be fun. The rest of those would be interesting if they were to happen. I know I have, I'm having some very bold picks, but that's kind of been a motto for me this season. Just have fun with the picks. Stay safe, everyone. Enjoy Wild Card Weekend. The playoffs are here, and hope you all have fun. Until then, this is Minutam and Doing Love. Take care, bye.